Good news for all Adobe Premiere users. Roxy the Mighty Proxy Panel speeds up any workflow. But first, what are proxies? Proxies are small, high-efficient files which are highly compressed but still in good quality to make your workflow more efficient. If you record in 8K, 6K, 4K and you want to transfer your files or edit those on laptops, you need small and high-efficient files and that's why proxies are the best way to go. The Roxy Proxy Panel. Why does a small tool promise great advantages when editing with Premiere? When working with the proxy panel, you can just import files into your Premiere project and the panel takes care of all the creation of proxies. So it's doing in the background with high efficiency and very fast. You can instantly start editing without noticing that something is even happening there. You can switch between high res and proxies and those proxies can be locally or even uploaded into the cloud like for example a system like Lucidic. What Roxy can do for you if you are working with Adobe Premiere Pro. So welcome to Premiere Pro. As you can see here I have a project which I start editing. So in this project I have some high res and if I want to create some proxies I just go to window extensions where I can see the proxy panel. As soon as I open the proxy panel, proxy panel checks if there are some proxies already created for those files. If not, it instantly starts creating those proxies. You can see a green dot which makes sure I am ready with the proxies. And then, of course, everything is set up and I can edit. Here in the timeline, you can see some of those icons are red and some are already gray. So although those proxies here are not created, I'm still able to edit it. As soon as all proxies are ready to go, everything is switched in the background, everything happens in the background, and I can edit with the proxies. Or when I want to export in high res, I just click on the magic button here, and now everything is switched between proxies and high res, and everything can be exported then as a final edit. And now let's have a look at the settings. If you want to change any settings of the panel, you can do it by clicking on this little icon. As you can see, the settings panel is quite compact, not too many options, but you can do a lot of things with it. For example, if you want to change the encoding preset to your needs, you can do it with this file. Usually it's set up quite nicely and easily so that you don't have to change many things, but your needs can be different, that's why you can set it up. You can change the paths of the export or of the proxy location, of course, but the other thing is, which is more important is whitelists. For example, if you want to copy only file types here, WAV, MP3 and so on, you can set this to this list. Encoding files, which will be encoded, you can set it to this one. Why? Because all the files which are encoded by the proxy panel are going to your project location, to the location where your project is set up, so that you have everything in one location and you don't have to look between the original locations and the locations where your project is set in. A unique selling point of Roxy, multi-channel audio. When working with projects, many users use multi-channel audio. Of course, Roxy the Proxy Panel is perfectly uh, prepared for those files. If I import, in this case, some multi-channel audio files, you see uh, Roxy the Proxy Panel instantly starts encoding those and brings them into the project. Of course, when I put my high-res files into, into my timeline, you see the multi-channel here. In the background, encoding happens, so they are already switched then. So when I can already start, I can create some edits. And then in the final editing, of course, I can export the high res with multi-channel audio. Keyword workflow automation. For example, export sequence is just one click. When you finished editing your timeline, you want to export your project, of course. You can use the Premiere panel to do it, 
but that you find of course many many options where you have to set up if you want to export in a very quick way very precise with your own presets just use the export sequence button here within the roxy proxy panel this triggers the export of your timeline directly via media encoder so high quality and very fast and you can start already editing a new timeline a new sequence within Premiere and you are much faster. And finally, the conclusion. Roxy the proxy panel makes your proxy workflows much easier. You can just import the files into your project and it takes care of everything what happens in the background. If you want to use remote workflows, you have to take your data with you. If you want to make everything lightweight, it creates everything whatever you want and in a very simple and light way it makes everything more flexible and easier for you